Right, so this is going to be um, Somerset. <clears throat> Somerset. So last time I looked at Devon, and just to find out whether <coughs> there'd need to be a cross border seat between Devon and Somerset, it looks like it's not necessary, which is good because Somerset this adds up to almost exactly 10 seats. So it'd be good to do Somerset on its own. <coughs> um, so let's have a go at Somerset. Southwest. <coughs> Somerset. No, Somerset. All right. So uh, this is Somerset here. So this is Piz Bristol. So it's the south <coughs> south of Bristol. This is Devon. This is Dorset, Wiltshire. And at the moment, Somerset still has these uh, six local authorities. <coughs> Two of them are unitaries, north and northeast. And we've got some <coughs> Taunton and West Somerset, Sedgemoor, <coughs> oh dear, Mendip, <laughs> and uh, South Somerset. My voice is going, that's good. And I'm going to start down here with Taunton. I seem to think 35. This is going to be way over. <coughs> Let's just look at the current seats. Yeah, so currently it's West Somerset and Bridgewater. So that's. See if we can keep that the same. <coughs> That's right. Um, hmm. And I'll put this on <coughs> point three three so I can see what's underneath the colours. Let's check that all of Bridgewater is in this, <coughs> what I've coloured in so far. In fact, this area here, Somerset Bridge, Willstock, and up here, Willow Down, these should really be in the Bridgewater seat if possible. This is <coughs> not so important to put in bridge water, so I'll take that ward out, put these two in, and that's fine. Now the, pro <laughs> the main problem is the shape then, but that's the fault of this new ward. Um, but the main road is still there, the one along the coast. So I'll leave that as it is for now. So that's Bridgewater, <coughs> West Somerset, PWS. Let's see how big this Taunton seat is. That's too big. So same thing down here. Let's look at these wards. This ward, this um, West Moncton ward, seems to include quite a lot of Taunton, so we're good to keep that in there. Uh, <coughs> Trull. Well, if necessary, Trull could be separated, I suppose, from the Taunton seat. Because there are obviously going to have to be some wards that are uh, taken out. Um, yeah, so let's take that out for now. Does that help? Oh, it's seven. <laughs> seven votes is too many. We could solve that by putting that ward in. Oh, that's, that's no good. That's too big now. In 
interesting. <clears throat> this is 4,000. That sorts it out. It leaves us with two. Strange, well, especially that one. These are strangely shaped seats, but I don't mind. Now, because Bishop Lydiard here, I think, really belongs with <coughs> Taunton, Velliscum. This is quite. A rural area, isn't it? With this come here, so it could go in the west. The west Somerset seat. So the shape is odd, but I don't think that matters. Um, now, so let's put Taunton down as the name. Let me just check how many seats are there at the moment. At the moment there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Oh, so there is an extra seat. To, uh, so there are going to be some changes. I kind of guessed that already by the fact these seats are both left wards over. Let's try. That's thirty-two thousand already. Yeovil is about thirty thousand. That's not going to work. Let me do Yeovil. <coughs> yeah, that's thirty-four thousand in Yeovil. Oof. <laughs> Some of these words are fun. 51, 58, 60. I'm just wondering about putting what would happen if you put Chard into Yeovil. That's okay. That's too many. <coughs> Let's take that word out, the Ilchester word. <coughs> and that's fine. I should take that word out as well. Then these three words form a reasonable unit to take out of the current seat. Okay, so that blue one is Yeovil. So these woods here are going to form this trolls. This area is going to be connected with, well, we don't know, do we really? Look at the numbers again. <coughs> so Bath. North East Somerset is two seats, North Somerset is two and a bit. So it's like a bit of here is going to go into the Wells seat, probably. Just trying to see and work out what the configuration might be. Let's colour all the rest of um, South Somerset in and see what we come to. Looking good. It's normal, almost, almost. And <coughs> don't know what to call that. Could call it Summerton because we have a Summerton and Froome seat at the moment. Could call it South Somerset. That's a bit odd because it's not <laughs> the oval seat is further south. So 
just wondering what I think if we take that out and put that in there, that would be too small, yeah. So I'm not happy taking this Westmonton ward out of Taunton because there's quite a lot of the town in that ward, but good deal. Let's see. Right, so I'll go up here now to Portis Head, Nail C, Clevedon. Zoom in so I can check I've got them all. That's <coughs> 64, 67, 70. Okay, so that's going to be <coughs> North Somerset. Then Western. Circle's easier to use. Seventy six. So that's as big as that can be. Take that out. What does that leave us with? Seventy. So that's all right for now. Western. So we've got this area here, um, Yatton, it's going to go with, well hopefully with this lot, let's see what that looks like. So, Burnham, oh that's close, that's 69. So that's happened twice now that we've had we've come close. Interesting. I don't know what you'd call that. <coughs> Try bath. I'll do bath in <coughs> yellow because I've got another yellow coloured seat on the other end of the county. Okay, that's the right size for bath. Um, again they've done this trick here which I don't approve of, the boundary drawers of including part of Bath with the village, these villages, um, but it seems to be get, getting a get away with it. This ward's a bit odd as well. Okay, so then we've got the rest of this. Should be right. Well, that's too small. <laughs> that's the third time it's happened now. Brilliant. <coughs> um, yeah, that doesn't work. Interesting. D21. Now I think here what I'd prefer to do is split a ward because the alternative is to take one of these wards here, just one ward from the neighbouring district, so called Orphan Ward, 
which is quite bad policy because that would <coughs> I mean the MP then has to get all the paperwork from this uh, authority here which is a MENDIP and the ward itself is feels a bit left out because most of the time the MP will be talking about this area very rarely about this area there are other reasons as well but um, the amended uh, it looks at the moment it looks like we're going to give one amended ward to that seat one to that seat and one to that seat which has got to be something to avoid right so that seat is um, north east Somerset And then this, <coughs> let's see how many people are in the Mendip. Oops. So that's 10,000 too many. Oh, more than that actually. 12,000 too many. So, what to give to what? Is the question. Hmm. I could draw the boundaries differently. I think there might be too many people here, though, to go into to make a Glastonbury seat. Let's try that see how does that works and that's this one so that gives some oh no, that's fine actually that, that would work nearly Some, so we need something else to go in there. So what about this Camelot Ward? Oh, wrong colour. Still not quite. The Pennard Ward. And Carey. That's not too bad. <coughs> We can call that Somerton or Glastonbury. Right. And then something needs to go into this Burnham Ward. what that could be hmm. so we can put so we put these two words in Okay. Um, so this Froome, Froome and Wells Ward. I don't know what they were going to call that. East Somerset, maybe. Um, <coughs> still too big. very good to put this ward into the Burnham seat it's so wells facing and this one again not, not ideal maybe slightly preferable let's put that in there okay <coughs> so that works then yeah not great 
this, is it? Um, if we wanted to keep this as the well seat, I'm not sure how that would happen. To do that, some of these walls, either this group or this group would have to come out. This group could come into here and you'd have <coughs> a seat with wards from five, from four districts. You have to lose some people over there. I'll try, let's try that. Oh, <laughs> that's not going to work, is it? Look at that. Another, another brilliantly designed ward there. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Hmm. This can't really go anywhere else apart from here. I don't think. I don't. I don't need voters over there. Interesting. Just put these two wards into here. And put Wells. You can't do that. Wells is. What's Wells in 83? So this would be <coughs> six, seven, maybe. It could be maybe eight thousand more to come out. So that would that would be okay then, I suppose. Let me just take those two out. Okay, that works. In fact, and then. Take whichever of these, how many of these? Four, six, eight. Yeah, take all three out. What's this word like here? Okay, that's all right. I think that might be the best solution. It's not the seats look pretty ugly here. But um in this case I think going for some a more minimum change solution is better because it was difficult to get the numbers to add up in the other way. <coughs> so that this become Burnham becomes Wells, goes back to being called Wells. Okay, so I've got this Bridgewater and West Somerset, which is this shape just because this ward is an odd shape. Taunton, that's fine. Then this seat has got parts of four districts which isn't great. So that's Somerton, which, in, which includes Glastonbury. Yeovil, that's fine. Then we've got this Froome or East Somerset seat, that's okay. Yeah, I think that's alright. What do we think about this ward here? This one includes... <coughs> I checked this, didn't I already? Yeah, I think we need that to be in the Bridgewater seat. Um, so that just leaves the problem of North East Somerset being too small, but like I say, I'd prefer to deal with that within the borough rather than outside. I don't suppose there's going to be 1,500 people here, so I can't just do that 
Um, <coughs> how many people were here? And that's too small, isn't it? Could um Yeah, one way or another we can do sort that out. I just need to check what the the uh, the electorates of the different polling districts here around Bath, but that can be sorted. I think. So so that is Somerset. So this is the new seat, really, isn't it? Because this has been this Somerton was in the Somerton and Froome, and Glastonbury was in Wells, <coughs> and these areas were in Taunton. So this is the new seat, and um, yeah, I mean, I think it would be better if um, we use this old border rather than the, the new border. Um, I think it'll help to make the seat look a bit more sensible. But these the parts of this seat can't really go anywhere else. So I think let's stick with it. Okay, so I'll take that off there, turn the colour back up see it a bit more easily and save okay oh, I've just seen a message so I didn't see your message there Hassanin Ali Hassanin isn't it why doesn't the UK use a federal system that well <laughs> that um, I was talking about this recently about Brexit. You know, if Britain had a federal system, um, then Scotland would still be the, in the EU. Well, either Scotland would be in the EU, or Britain would still be in the EU because Scotland would have a veto. So, yeah, I think probably Brit UK, if it's going to survive, should have a federal system. Although maybe it's a bit too late now to do that. Um, but there are certainly lots of people against the idea. So it's, um, I think it might have already happened if, because um, we've gone so down, the, so far down the path of um, Scot for example, mainly Scotland, of talking about having its own parliament and first minister and everything, but still not. We still don't have federal. UK, so there are obviously people who don't want that to happen. Anyway, I sign off for now. Cheers.